a true SUV towable family travel trailer coming in under 3,000 pounds with a roof mount AC and a furnace. Folks, this one just might blow you away. Now, when I say blow you away, I don't mean that you're gonna see it and be like, oh my God, the features are so great. What will impress you though, is the overall package. What you have here for the price point, folks, this one is spot on. They have done an awesome job. So as I said, this one comes in under 3,000 pounds. You have about 1,500 pounds or so carrying capacity for what you can put in here. So that's pretty darn good given the size. And again, there will be links in the description to price and availability. So if that's what you're looking for, you can check there. At the time of the filming, this is a 2024. This is brand spanking new. So I don't know how many that we will have on the lots, but they definitely are coming. Now, as far as the features themselves, two of the big ones I talked about, one of them is the fact it has a roof mount AC. So rather than having like a cutout on the side right here and having your side mount, they have a roof mount, which I love. This is super effective. It cools everything down, just looks a lot nicer as well. The other thing that I think is really great is the fact it has a furnace. Uh, a lot of them, when we start looking at kind of this floor plan, this size, this price point, they swap out a furnace in place of a fireplace. And the fireplace looks nice, but it's not gonna keep you warm on cold nights. It'll, it'll do a little bit to take the chill off the air, but I mean, if we start dropping down, this furnace will actually do the trick. This thing really can be, you know, you can start to camp a little bit later into that fall season, camp a little bit earlier in the spring, which is awesome. For entertainment too, I mean, it's not like they're skimping out here, right? You have JBL sound system in here, which is fantastic. Love the name brand. It's clean. You have good fit and finish, storage right up top. Good, not good. I should say good countertop space, but you do have some countertop space, right? Like that's definitely something to talk about. You can see the recessed sink, the high rise faucet. You have the two burner recessed cooktop there as well. Underneath, you have I'm not a ton of storage on this side because of the plumbing, but take a look at that. You actually have spots for pots and pans. That's another issue when we start to look at this floor plan is just not a lot of spots for some of your bigger dishes. And I think they accomplished it with that right there. You'll also notice the microwave, of course, and then your uh, Insignia 12 volt refrigerator right next to that. And as we take a look at the bathroom here, I will come right in. And just to give you an idea of size, I'm, I'm six foot, uh, about 200 and 10, 215 pounds these days. Um, you know, I do touch a little bit on the left, but I have really good leg space even when the door is shut. Obviously, plenty of room on the right because of the shower. Speaking of the shower, this is a big shower. Folks, at six foot tall, I can stand up in here. I mean, I, I kind of touch on the ceiling a little bit right here, but because of the vent fan, I do get a little bit more space. But more importantly, look how big my shower base is. I can actually stand sideways in here and take a shower. In an RV this size, that's actually pretty darn incredible. I also have a mirror. So if I wanna you know, actually look at myself before I head out for the day, I can. Electrical outlet up top with a shelf. I'm a big fan of having music in the bathroom. I can put you know, a little speaker right there, good to go. You have a uh, robe hook there as well as right here for your towels. And of course, because this is a family RV, you have your bunks here with the storage underneath. So, you know, there's not a there's not a ladder, so you will have to either buy one or kind of hop up in there. Um, but if that's all that I have negative to say, which honestly it is, then this is definitely a pretty great camper. You have storage all across the top there, jackknife sofa. Of course, the great thing about jackknife is all the storage underneath, you can see that. You also have access here. Uh, so this is magnetic, right? Magnetic panel just pulls off, set it right back on there. If I can line it up right, there it goes. So that, that's kind of cool too. Uh, not the most glamorous thing ever, but it's functional. And I'm a functional guy, so I enjoy what they did there. Yeah. <laughs> hey now, uh, you will also see storage right up top here. And then you have some additional storage uh, that they kind of built in right there. So I think that's just kind of nice having the foot locker, a couple of USB ports. I don't know if we have storage under the bed. It might just go to outside. Let's take a look here. Uh, what do we have? Is this access? Uh, you know, that's a little bit of storage. It's not easy to get to. Uh, I don't know that I would use it a ton, but hey, if you need to use something in a pinch, looks like you have a little extra storage built in right there. All right, let's take a look at the outside features of the Catalina Summit Series 164 BHX. 
feel like I'm at an auction. 164. Uh, taking a look right up front, you will see a couple things. One, right down below there is a battery disconnect, which is always handy to have. That way you can just flip that guy and kill all power so you don't have that parasitic drain uh, from your battery. Of course, you have the diamond plating here. You also see the smooth aluminum front, which not just looks great, but also is a lot easier to clean when you get all the bugs and everything from traveling than when you have like your ribbed aluminum on the front side there. We take a look at the storage. A couple things I want to point out. One, the fact that it is a magnetic catch. Always a big fan of that. You will also see it's actually pretty good storage space in there. Uh, a little dark, but you know, again, it is pretty ample storage. And then right over here is our solar prep. So you can see if you do get solar, you can see the solar controller right there. So that one is our already prepped for it, which I love. Up top, take a look at that, isn't that pretty? So you have the uh, Solera awning, you know, multicolored LED, just controlled by uh, a remote. But again, it's something that they didn't have to put on here, but I kind of like that they did. It's just kind of one of those uh, just nice little bonuses that they threw on. Uh, electrical outlet, in case you need to plug anything in, pretty self-explanatory. Of course, we have our speaker here as well. This I really enjoy. If you have fur babies, this is great to have. So that way, you know, you can just hook them up right here, have them underneath the awning, hanging out with you. You don't have to worry about having, you know, grass or anything like that. If you have a concrete pad that you're staying on, that is definitely going to be a lifesaver. Right here in the back, city water connection, as well as a black tank flush. This is another one that I didn't expect to have uh, on an RV this size at this price point. So I love that they put a black tank flush on there. It just really makes it so much easier to make sure the black tank stays clean. And then up top, we have a couple preps. One will be the backup camera prep in case you want that so you can see behind you as well as the ladder, ladder prep. All you have to do for that is just buy the telescoping ladder and you can climb up onto the roof. Coming around the other side, a couple uh, other things. You have your 30 amp detachable power cord, obviously your uh, cable and satellite inlet. Someone's moving around in there. You can also see the termination with both the black and gray tank valves. And then lastly, right over here will be uh, your freshwater inlet. So again, folks, I know that this is you know, while it doesn't have a ton of bells and whistles, the reason that I think this one's gonna blow your mind is because for the price point, the value is absolutely there. It's something that has a furnace, you have an AC, you have great bed space. For the size, it actually has shockingly good storage, and that shower pan is huge. I can actually shower in there. Plus, it is under 3,000 pounds, making it super SUV towable, especially by, you know, if you have that 5,000 uh, pound tow ability. So definitely a big winner. If you're really interested, you're liking it, and you're like, Ian, how much is it? Where can I find one? Well, no problem. All I have to do is click on the link in the description that will actually take you to the one that is nearest you. It'll show you right on there on the site as well as how much that one costs. So uh, happy RV hunting. This one is fantastic. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, we'll see you.